if you want to study md in uk after completing your mbbs so what are the entry requirements and what are the eligibility criteria then what are the mandatory examinations you have to pass and what is plap what is mrcp and uh, what pg courses are offering in different universities and colleges in uk and what are the different universities and colleges and in uk and what is the fee structure and what salary you will get after completing your course all these details are being discussed in this video so let's welcome to another video of jacob jojins generally md in uk is a 2 to 3 year research degree after the completion you are eligible to work both in uk and india and in india you need to appear or uh, sit for any screening test to get job uh, because uh, md in uk is recognized in india by medical council of india the next we are going to discuss about the entry requirements there are three pathways to get admission uh, for md in uk first entry requirement is plap plap means professional and linguistic assessment board so this plap is categorized divided into two plap 1 and plap 2 so first you have to clear plap 1 plap 1 is an mcq examination it is conducted twice in a year so you have to prepare for plap months 3 uh, 4 months back second one is plap 2 this is a clinical practical exam and it is conducted in manchester second one is you will get admission for pg in uk without passing plap so there are few universities and colleges taking students uh, like this the uh, they are the british university in collaboration with nhs hospitals and uh, royal college of london so these two colleges and universities uh, are taking students without passing plap so they introduced a uh, an extensive clinical md courses for international students uh, and uh, they are offering uh, pg in uh, cardiology acute medicine diabetes respiratory medicine oncology in the nhs hospitals what they do is they are uh, providing students general medical council uk registration at the beginning of the pg course by which the students are able to do clinical practice with their studies third pathway is mrcp mrcp stands for membership of the royal college of physicians of the united kingdom so it is a post graduate medical diploma in the united kingdom so applicants have to clear mrcp before taking admission to uh, admission into higher uh, specialty training so mrcp is an approved post graduate qualification by the uh, general medical council uk so uh, after uh, passing mrcp applicants will get Uh, general medical councils full registration with a license to practice what is the process of this mrcp exam this mrcp exam has three parts two of them are written examinations and the last one is a practical examination and it is called paces paces means practical assessment of clinical examination skill what are the other eligibility criteria you need to pass uh, before getting admission for pg in uk the first one is your ielts or oet score your ielts score should be at least 6.5 to 7.5 and your oet score should be b then second one is you have to pass your mbbs from uh, an internationally recognized or acknowledged university next one is uh, it is recommended to complete an accept acceptable pattern of internship outside the uk so there is a 2 to 3 years of relevant work experience can further boost your chances of your career uh, it means uh, you need to get a certificate of readiness to enter specialty training that is crest uh, signed off by your supervising consultants will enable you to apply for the training post This is popular PG courses that attract the attention of international students in UK. The uh, they are internal medicine, cardiovascular, gastroenterology, diabetes, psychiatric medicine, dermatology, orthopedic, gastrointestinal, 
ophthalmology, urology, ENT and vascular. Next is cost of study in UK. So according to the statistics of various websites, I found that uh, you need at least 15 lakhs to 20 lakhs per year and it depends upon the university or the college you opt. Then uh, second thing is uh, many uh, colleges and universities are offering scholarships and grants so try to get one of the scholarship or grant it will be uh, easy for you. Then uh, the another thing is you have to apply for bank loans. Uh, it will help us. Then most of the universities, especially in NHS hospitals, they are offering bursaries. Bursaries means a grant or scholarship or a small amount of salary in the last year of their practice. Sought after universities in UK to study MD are Swansea University, University of Oxford, University of Dundee, University of Cambridge, University of Edinburgh, University of Glasgow, University of Aberdeen, Queen Mary University of London, Keeley University, University of Exeter and University of Birmingham, University of Derby, University of Hull, University of Leeds, uh, etc. So these are the most famous or most soft, sought after universities that of, offer MD courses in UK. Once you have completed your PG course successfully from one of the universities from UK and you uh, assume that you are getting a job in any of the hospitals uh, in UK. Uh, probably you will get a salary uh, in between 70,000 euro to 100,000 euro. So uh, you are very lucky if you are getting a job, uh, a job in any of the hospitals in UK because you are getting a good salary. Thank you very much for watching Jacob Jojins. If you have any doubts regarding the video, please comment below. Please subscribe my, my channel. If you are not subscribing, must subscribe my channel then like my video and share my videos with your friends. Once again, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Take care.